it's your boy Taylor Graham with Bellator Claims Resolution. I'm here to talk to you about the denial of the day. Today's comes to us from Michelle of Loveland, Colorado. House roof was leaking due to hail damage per certified roofer with over 35 years experience. Insurance company denied the claim on the roof. They are saying there was no hail damage yet paid us $1,000 for hail damage on the awnings. So they're admitting to hail damage at the location, but are saying that the hail damage or the hail damage on the roof is not hail damage or uh, I don't know. Anyhow, then they increased our rates. We canceled their coverage. They deducted almost $1,000 in premiums out of my checking account without me knowing it till later. They would have bounced my account if the funds were not there. They refused to refund us from the cancellation date to be paid up to the date as they said it was a seasonal policy. The cancellation policy on the documents indicates there should be a refund. I'm calling the BBB. Okay. So many things in this that are interesting. One is that the insurance company is admitting hail at the location, but not paying for the roof because the roof is usually the most expensive component of your home, unless it's siding walls and I mean like major damage, right? But usually the vast majority of the claims that I work on, the roof is the largest portion of the dollar amount. And the reason they don't want to pay for the roof is because it's the largest portion of the dollar amount. And insurance companies, guess how they make money? Taylor, how do, how do the insurance companies make money? Well, let me tell you, insurance companies make money by delaying your claim, denying your claim, making you send them to court and defending your claim, and also diminishing your claim, which means they underpay your claim because the more money that they keep, the more money they make. The more money they pay you on the claim, the more money they lose. Very simple mathematics, okay? Not every insurance company is a for-profit company. Some of them are mutual insurance companies, meaning they are owned by their clients. But guess what would happen if they paid every claim fairly? Your rates as a mutual customer would go up, like substantially, right? Because they're actually paying claims fairly. But they don't do that. The reason they underpay claims and deny claims and people never actually pursue those claims is because most consumers don't know what to do as customers of the insurance company. They, they rarely even know that a public adjuster like us exists. But if mutual companies, their rates went up, what would they do? They would lose customers, right? But the thing that most people don't understand that I want you to understand is it's not always about the cheapest insurance. Cheap insurance is cheap until you make a claim. Cheap insurance is cheap until you make a claim. The thing is, I would much rather you have the proper coverage and pay maybe 500 more bucks a year to make sure when your house gets hit with hail or a windstorm or some sort of disaster that's covered under your policy, that you have the right coverage that's actually going to pay the claim. It's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. The cheapest policy is cheap until you need coverage, okay? So if you need help, with the insurance company that's not paying your claim fairly based on the coverage that you have, contact us today, bellatorclaims.com.